Hey guys, this is Veer from JV3 Gaming, and today we are playing Volts. Um, but it's not just a normal playthrough of Volts. Actually, this is going to be a little tutorial series of Volts that I'm making. Because it seems that a lot of people seem to have trouble with Volts. And I'd like to help those people. Because I was one of those people, and if you haven't seen the Volts Let's Play that me and Harrison are making, I haven't recorded it yet but he has so I'll put his channel and his videos links in the description and yeah so basically let's get started here so today basically we're gonna be doing uh, basic electricity so pretty much the very first electricity that you're gonna want to make cuz this is about the easiest electricity I I should say that you can make so first up here we have the coal generator and to make that we need a motor, a furnace, um, steel or bronze. It's just used around the outside with steel or bronze. It can be either or, just whichever one is easier to you. The motor, this is how you make the motor. Um it, these these two kinds of copper wire they're pretty much they're exactly the same. As you can see there it is that and then I'll show you how to make it in later. So let's grab this or not okay um... let's just grab one out from here i guess cool oops i only want one okay i guess it wants me to have two anyways and then we have the battery which is one coal one redstone and one two three five tin i don't know why i couldn't count that i just had a mind fart for a second um... five tin and that gives you the battery so let's grab one of those. Well, actually, you don't need it. You just need it to record it later. Uh, to make the battery box over here, you need three of them. And then here is the uh, insulated copper wire, which you're going to need to transport energy, which is six leather and three copper. And that gives you six copper wire. And then over here, we've got the battery box. Whoops. And you need six steel and three batteries now to make steel I know that a lot of people have a problem with this I'm gonna show that in a later date but to make steel there are multiple ways to make it you can either smelt steel dust which is there are two different types types sorry there's this kind of which is used around iron and charcoal and then there's the one that you, that you make in the metallurgic infuser which is a big word and so let's uh, grab these wire insulated copper wire and let's see and also a battery box okay and then another thing that you might want is the wrench that takes a di- oops okay I guess it doesn't want me to um, that takes a diamond and three steel yeah you can see the two different types of steel there so let's go back here and I'll show you how to make it. So first off, set a coal generator down. Simple enough. It's for extra power you can put multiple, which isn't really that hard since it's so it's fairly easy to make. Um as long as you have the materials. So but for now I'm just gonna show you one. Then you bring that over here and you stick it in a battery box. Now make sure it's going to the red side. The the red side is the input. If you put it on any other side it will not work now you can see it connects on the black side that is the output so if I were to do this this would try to send power to here but since this thing cannot take power it basically won't do anything it'll just be kinda useless so let's put that there that's our battery box as you can see right now it's empty so let's grab a sack of coal right there and let's put it right in here in the coal generator now as you can see right here it says hull heat it has to warm up before it can generate electricity uh... this gives a voltage of one hundred and twenty so that's that's the voltage that most uh... things take as you can see now it says it's generating a lot of watts a lot because it's not really doing anything out here so that is just sending power into there and as you can see it's hold it can hold four megajoules and then if you want extra power it's normally a pretty good idea to just do this and then 
copper copper oops yeah as you can see um, I messed that up I put in the wrong thing actually uh, so just two battery boxes and then let's get some two stacks of coal put one stack there one stack there and now these are heating up they heat up fairly quickly and it's a pretty good uh, source of energy it heats up really fast gets you a lot of power really fast so there's that and then I'm going to show you another type of form of energy that's a bit harder to make I guess it takes longer to make but it's really easy to use um, it takes a bit longer to get energy but it's also infinite so unlike the coal generator where you have to rely on coal and a lot of coal for it to go um, in, uh, in this let's keep this battery box and the wrench in this you need a heat generator and you will need lava buckets you need three of them but I'm just gonna grab one because I'm in creative mode so basically what you do is first knock in three okay now really you only need one and that will give you enough power though that will give a good amount of power but since this is volts and you want as much power as possible it's good to make six so this right here is how you make um, a heat generator you need two iron one redstone two enriched alloy three platinum and one enriched iron so it's kind of power intensive but not really um, as you can see right down there Harrison is skyping me um, but yeah and enriched iron you can you have to use two alloy and that gives you enriched iron or two copper dust also gives you four enriched iron so it's not as much as this but still pretty good so you put one two three four whoops four five six seven eight of those down you go in here you knock out all the ones beneath those all right and then I think actually you could just do this with one lava bucket not quite sure I guess we'll find out but um so if we look in here yeah you can just do one lava bucket so as if you look in here you can see that it's generating power and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wire these up real quick and let's do this over here and right here this is the last one and we don't need to connect this and then we just pop this out over here stick a battery box down it's going in the wrong way so just turn it around and there you go and that's that it's generating a good amount of power but that's because there's this much running um, really you won't really be getting that much power from it so let me just show you how much power you'll actually get from one that's about as much as you'll get which isn't really a lot uh, compared to how much this setup gives or this coal generator right over here it's full and as you can see it's still generating power so it's gonna waste your coal if you just leave it in here so you gotta just put it somewhere but I'll show you that in a later episode so this was a tutorial on making basic this is really the most basic that you can get of power it's pretty good too um, but yeah I if you're gonna start out volts this is a good thing to have when you start out and I can't do apparently a 3 plus 1 jump let's try again yeah I did it <laughs> so yeah this is Veer from Dave 3 Gaming and this was a Volt tutorial. Bye.